A new week is here. Today we're going to get one step closer into finishing this ultimate kayak camping trailer build we've got going. Today we're going to tackle the rear fabrication of the rear racks that we're going to build behind the fender wells. We're going to get everything cut up today. I finally got all the materials in. We're going to get the racks welded up, mounted up, and then we're going to install those rear heavy duty tail light boxes that we got. Y'all stick around. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ, welcome to Kayak USA. Today, we're gonna continue the build on the ultimate kayak camping trailer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we are converting this old utility trailer into like the ultimate kayak camping trailer. Like I just said, it's got a rooftop tent, rod storage. We're gonna be able to haul our kayak, our four wheelers, our dirt bikes, whatever we wanna take camping with us, we'll be able to haul on this trailer and camp right off of the trailer. So today what we're gonna be doing is extending the trailer on both sides right behind the fender well. And I'm just gonna be using some of the same angle that it, the trailer was built out of. And I'm gonna put this same mesh up that we used in last week's video. So that's gonna be the plan today. Get this whole platform cut and welded up. And then we're gonna mount these heavy duty corner metal light boxes and they got LED running lights, blinkers, brake lights all built into one and we're going to get it mounted up in the back corner back here. That'll give us plenty of room to mount water jugs, propane tanks, whatever we need we'll be able to mount right to the side of the trailer and you know we'll be one step closer to having the ultimate kayak camping rig. So that's going to be today's video. I'm going to do less talking and more work today because I would really like to include in today's video running all the wires and installing all of the lights, but it's really gonna depend on how long it takes me to fabricate up these sides. If it goes quick, we'll do it all in today's video. If not, we might have to break up the wiring and the lights and stuff in next week's video. So I'm gonna quit talking, I'm gonna set the camera up and we're just gonna start slinging some metal and some sparks. Let's do it.
Well, that took way longer than I expected and I'm only halfway through. But as you've seen, I did go ahead and make up my mind. I am gonna do all the lights and the wiring. It just made sense and plus I really wanted to see them on there. So all that's gonna be in this video. This is just kind of the midway point. I just got home from work, it's the next day. I was out here late last night trying to get these lights mounted. And I've only done one side of the trailer, so I'm gonna show you up close, go over with you what I did, everything you just seen me wiring it up and everything I used. And then we're gonna run the wires today. I'm gonna to start fabricating the other side, get that one finished up. Then we're gonna move up to the front and install the box and the seven pin plug. But first I'm gonna go back here to the back and show you how it's looking so far. Look at the mess I made last night. Look at this. My shop is never this filthy. And I've got it leaking onto the other side where my kayak shop is and my motorcycle area is. I've just got a mess out here, but we're getting it done. Let me show you where I got last night. So as you've seen me do, I went ahead, got this whole side completed. Now we haven't added the running lights. I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna mount them in just a minute, but I've got the box mounted. I've got our rear reverse light mounted. It looks really good, man. I'm loving the way this is looking. When we get done with this trailer, it's gonna look legit. I've got a lot of big plans for this trailer. Some new mods that I come up with yesterday that um, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to show them to you. But today we're gonna finish up the other side. I'm gonna fabricate the step because as you can see, I haven't even started it yet. Like, look at this side. And I was out here all day yesterday. Well, after I got home from work, I was out here. And this is how far we got, but I love it so far. I did a really clean wire for the reverse light. As you've seen, I put in a little grommet here. I've got a grommet coming out of the bottom. Let's see if I can show it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got a grommet coming out of the bottom of the light box. All of the lights are wired up and I use these here. Now these are awesome. If you guys have never used anything like this, these are these clip on wire connectors but the way they work is you can clip on your main wire with one of these and when you shut it it makes a a plug up i don't know why it's not focusing but and then you put on your wire your connecting wire one of these guys and it plugs to that so if i've ever got any issues with my wires in the back or i need to change these lights out i can just unplug them and plug them back up i used heat shrink to seal everything up inside the box and it turned out really nice so now i'm fixing to go ahead i'm going to finish up this whole side we're going to go ahead and i've got the wires pulled i guess i can show you all the way to the front and the way i'm doing it is i've got a ground a yellow reverse my red is the blinkers and the brake lights and my white is my running lights so my white wire is going to be tied in to all of those little marker lights that i showed you at the beginning these guys right here and I'm going to start drilling holes and we're going to mount two in the side of my new step here or the new rack. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to put a couple more of these guys up front so that they, they get really bright. I can't wait to see how these look. But that's what we're going to do. I'm hoping that I don't stretch this video out too long by adding the wires and doing all this fabricating. So I'm going to get back to work, set the camera back up and knock this out.
right, here she is. I went ahead and put a good coat of paint on everything. It's not completely painted, but I just wanted to hit the metal that was raw so it wouldn't rust on me until we fi finish fabricating the rest of the trailer and then we'll paint it all at once. But here is the final outcome of the steps. I hope there's enough light in here. There should be on the other side. I'll take you around and show you that. But there's the little LED lights right here and right here that I installed. I've got four on this side. So I've got my light box with the reverse lights and man, they are bright. I can't wait to sh turn them on and show you how bright those things are for backing up. So I've got two of the LED lights there for running. And then I've got two more right here. And the other side actually has six. So there's four on this side and six on the other side. The only reason I wasn't able to put two more here is because the spare tires here, but I, I got a plan. I'm gonna put a cover over that and clean that up, make it look a little bit better. And then next we're gonna order some new rims, put the uh, all-terrain tires on to match the truck. But let me show you this other side. I've got some light on it. You might be able to see a little bit better. Look how nice that turned out. It looks so clean. It looks really factory. I mean, you can't tell that it was made in a garage and added on. And that's, that's what I was going for. I was going for a factory look. I wish there was more light in here, but the mesh turned out good. I got the, the wires there under there. They're all wire loomed up. Everything is zip tied. All the mesh matches, everything's flat black. I didn't do the two tone. I did decide to just go all black with it. But here's the other lights. Got one, two, three, four up front in front of the tire and then two back there on the back, just like the other side. Now, I'm gonna turn the lights out in here and I've got it hooked to my truck. I'm gonna turn the lights on on the truck and show you how bright these lights are. All right, the sun's going down enough. I think I can show you outside how it looks. I've still got the flashers on. Look how bright these LED lights are. That is definitely gonna get seen. And then the, the blinkers on the side. So if I'm turning at a red light, people can see my trailer behind me. The reverse lights are insane. I'll set the camera up on a tripod real quick and throw the reverse on, but look at that. These things look great. I love how well the kayak just slides right up in there. Fits perfect dead center. We're fixing to tackle this bed issue though. I'm not happy with the way the bed looks. We're gonna clean that up this week. Here's the other two. All right, let's set this camera up and get the reverse lights on back back in here. So the next part of this build series, I am either going to tackle two. I've got two things I want to tackle next. I want to build the fold down table that we've been talking about. It's going to go under the awning. It'll fold down when the awning's out above us. We'll be able to cook and stuff right here out of the rain if it starts raining. Also, I'm thinking about taking the runners out because runners on a boat trailer are usually just for launching the boat into the water and stuff like that. I'm probably not gonna do a lot of boat launching now that I've built this trailer the way it is. Plus I've got the boondocks, I really don't need to launch it. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking the runners out and decking this whole deck with bass boat carpet. I've already got some that I ordered for another project that's been in the basement for the past couple of months and I, I need to use it. I think it would go great. It's, at, you know, it's outdoor carpet, it's made to be on a bass boat. So I'm thinking about doing that so that we can slide the kayak to one side and maybe put my wife's paddle board down one side so we can take multiple stuff with me. Also, I'm thinking about adding a system and I've got it drawn out, I think it's gonna work. So I'm gonna, I'll go over it more later, but I'm gonna have a system that goes from the tent to some little poles that I'm gonna have that pop down into a flush mount in the back of the trailer so that we can hang hammocks over the bed of the trailer. Plus if it's carpeted then it'll be nice to you know be able to hang out on the trailer. I've got the corner jacks already here. We're gonna do that in an upcoming video as well. So yeah, this thing is coming along. It's turned into a much bigger project than I thought. This video, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but it's taken me three days to fabricate just those two steps in here in the floor of my garage. And I think they turned out great. I really like it. I'm happy with the outcome so far. 
Then we're gonna tackle the tires, the rims, all that cool stuff. So if you like these videos, make sure you're giving them a thumbs up. Hit the share button, it really helps me out, guys. If you're still watching, hit that share button up under the video. Go share it on Facebook and a group. You know, Share it somewhere if you can, I really appreciate it. And yeah, hit that like button and I'll catch you guys next Thursday at two. Peace.